Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing some major upgrades on the Atom Stack C4 Pro CNC machine. So behind me, you can see right here, I have some boxes that I received from Atom Stack and they all have to do with this machine. Now I received those after the fact that I did this unboxing and set up on this machine. I couldn't incorporate those into that video. So we're gonna do another video, opening these up and checking them out, seeing what's up on the inside. Now I already know what's on the inside of these boxes. I didn't when I got them because they literally just showed up at my front door and I had no idea what they were. So I went ahead and I cut them open and I kind of took a peek of what was in the inside of each one and I'm super happy that I got them. Adam Stack surprised me with these because I didn't know I was getting them. So with that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox each one, check them out, see what they sent me, and then we'll go ahead and get them plugged in and turned on. I don't think there's really going to be a project in this video. It's just more or less going to be checking out these accessories and seeing what you guys can get if you're interested to add on to the C4 Pro. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. All right, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to save the big one for last and we're gonna work on these three boxes right here. The first one we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna open up this one right here. I kind of forget what is in each box. Uh, I know what all four of these items are, but uh, it's pretty awesome. That's right. So this one right here is the Atom Stack FC1 seven inch fixture kit. This is basically a little vise that you can use for if you're holding down aluminum, you're doing some aluminum work or something along that lines. This is a very, awesome upgrade. I do not have one of these. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so check it out. Here is the clamp right here, and it's a good size. It's not extremely heavy, even though it's all metal and aluminum. It's not something that's gonna weigh you down or be hard to maneuver. It has this little knob right here that you turn, and you can clamp down whatever piece you're trying to do without having to worry about any tape or anything along that line. So let's go ahead and hook it onto the machine and see how it is. All right, check it out. So got this installed and it's absolutely awesome. It works perfectly. You know, if you have a piece of aluminum or even a piece of wood, if you're doing small pieces of wood and you just want to hold them down and clamp them in, uh, this might be the answer for you. You know, just having a thing where you can just loosen this up, put your piece of wood in there, tighten it up, start your engraving. Like if you're doing little coasters, even if I were to do something a little bit wider and do a three dimensional, you know, 3D relief cut, this would probably work out perfectly. I wouldn't have to worry about the blue tape method or anything along that line. That's gonna hold it in a nice uh, place here for me. So yeah, I think this thing is actually pretty awesome. What I would maybe do is flip this around and put this out this way. So as I'm turning it, I can go ahead and just kind of put something in here and just open it up. So I might reverse this around in a different direction, but for what it is, uh, works out good. Go ahead and put your piece of Allen key in here just to tighten it up and loosen it up. And now we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the other accessories. All right, the next we're gonna do is this one in here. This is the RC1. This is the Atom Stack fourth axis rotary tool. This is gonna be pretty awesome if you're going to use any kind of dowel rods. Basically, it's a mini lathe for your CNC machine. You could do things like Harry Potter wands if you wanted to kind of recreate wands, or another idea is if you're doing chess pieces or something like that, if you need something three-dimensional, it will go ahead and basically do like a lathe and cut it out and CNC. This replaces your Y axis so your machine doesn't go back and forth. Actual motor right here is what turns back and forth but your x-axis goes this way. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it looks like. Now we're not going to do any test on this in this video. This is just going to be an unboxing for the accessories. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, now that we went ahead and we got this built, it's only a couple screws. Now these are adjustable. You can bring this tailstock either closer or further away, depending how big of a piece of wood that you have in here that you're engraving. You have your chuck locks right here. These actually, I'm gonna show you, are used for tightening and loosening up your chuck lock right here. Now it did come with this right here. This is a centering gauge that you're gonna use when you first set up your x-axis to calibrate it. You kind of lock it into place and then what you're gonna do is you just take these two and you tighten it down. So just like that. So now that's locked into place. If you want to loosen it, you go ahead and just 
go like that and now it's going to come out but this is really just going to be used to calibrate now this is going to be a whole separate video setting up the fourth axis so stay tuned for that like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see that video because we're going to do a whole video dedicated specifically to the fourth axis so stay tuned for that and i'm going to show you where this goes onto the machine itself all right, so now I already removed the other clamp that I got. So this will set something along this lines right here. There's holes that are already lined up for your machine. One, two, three, four. It's gonna come with some bolts. We just need about four of them right now. And then you just lock this into place. All right, now that we went ahead and we got this locked down into place, you're gonna take your wire, your cord, and behind the back of the machine right here, You'll plug that in there. Make sure you run this behind your machine. You don't want it to go in front of the axis. And then back behind the controller, there's an accessory port that's literally in the back of this controller. You'll just plug that into there. And now it's gonna recognize the fact that it has a fourth axis. And again, we'll do a full video just on the fourth axis and maybe we'll go ahead and cut out something really cool. So, all right, so there's the fourth axis accessory that you have available to you. Now let's go over to number three. All right, check this out. We got the upgraded spindle. This is a 500 watt spindle. The stock spindle that it comes with is 200 watts. So this is a major upgrade. It's more than twice the power of a spindle that actually comes with the machine. Here it is right here. And I'll show you comparably to the other one. So here's the accessories. It actually comes with its own controller. So you're gonna have to make sure that you have this controller set up as well. Now they do come with another clamp. I'm not too sure why. This one, I believe, is the same as the stock. So we're gonna go ahead and just loosen it up and let's go ahead and get this one installed right now. You can check out the difference between the two. This is the stock spindle, 200 watt, and this is the 500 watt spindle and it fits perfectly so we don't need to change this out at all. Remember, when you're tightening up your spindles, you don't wanna tighten up one side too tight. You kinda of wanna go back and forth to each side just so that they snug up. All right, that should be good. All right, so we went ahead and we got the spindle hooked up and it's connected to the controller box, so everything seems to be working. Uh, you can hear it spindling. You can hear it spindling. You can hear it spinning. It's actually really quiet, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, last thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and open up that box number four and that's gonna be awesome. This is the Atom Stack dust collection system. And this whole kit comes with the dust shoe, comes with your vortex, comes with your vacuum, everything you need to set up for your CNC machine. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Pretty awesome. So we went ahead and we got the full dust collection system hooked up. I really like the fact that this thing is super easy to install. And if you need to remove the dust shoe like this, you can. That way you can change your bit and do anything that you need to do to get to that without having to remove the whole thing. One other thing that I really do like about this is that this is a clear bucket, which is really, really nice for the sheer fact that you can see how much dust you have to empty out. So if you have this and it's full to the max and it's a white bucket, 
it's very difficult to see like I have on some of my other ones. I have a white bucket and then another white bucket that's very similar to this, but uh, this is actually really nice because you can see through it. Let me show you what actually happens when you have some dust, if I can actually find some dust around here. Hmm, check it out. So I got a handful of dust. We're gonna put it right here, okay? Let me give it a little bit more. We're gonna put it right here on the desk. And we even have this little chunk right here that we're gonna go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and just pretend that this is sucking up anything and you're gonna actually see the vortex. This is completely empty right now. This little tin can, check it out. There is nothing in that black tin can. There's nothing in here. Let's go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and suck up some of this dust, this sawdust and see what it does into that clear bucket. Check it out, there it is right there, starting to go around. You can actually see the vortex that it's creating. Watch, I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna suck up this little piece right here. And it's up in here. There it is down at the bottom. actually see what it's doing is it's spinning this around and we're gonna go ahead and check out to see how much of that dust actually went into this container right here. Look at that, completely empty. Not a single piece of dust into this because that's what the vortex does. It separates everything so now you don't have a big mess in your actual dust collector uh, bin. It goes into this secondary. Put that back in. Once this gets full, you can empty it out and you don't have to worry about changing filters all the time. Now you should change your filters kind of regularly, but you don't have to do it as often when you have one of these systems, which is pretty awesome. All right guys, that is the Atom Stack C4 Pro complete accessory kit that is available. Now online, this is running about $1,000, $1,059 at the time of this video, which is an absolutely amazing deal considering that you would get the fourth axis, the clamp, the upgraded spindle, and the dust collection system, you're looking at two to $300 per item alone. So you're looking at $200 for that, $200 for that, that's $400, um, about $100 for this clamp. I think it's definitely worth that. The upgraded spindle, which is probably 200, that's two, four, six, that's $700 in accessories for $1,000 total. So that's like $300 for the CNC machine alone, which is an absolute steal. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're interested. But just want to thank Adam Stack for sending me this. Now stay tuned, like, and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing a full video on the fourth axis alone. We're going to go ahead and do some kind of project. I'm not sure what to do yet. I'll go ahead and think of something, but uh, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit that big black bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. But until the next video, make sure you all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.